Guys, we... What? But stop cutting me off. Do you want to tell them? No? Okay, I'll do the talking. Guys, we just got the date and time for the full-length Avatar The Last Airbender trailer. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to talk about it right now. What's going on, you guys? James here with some real news, and you heard me correctly. We're going to talk about when you can expect the full-length trailer for the live-action Avatar The Last Airbender series, which debuts on Netflix February 22nd of this year. Guys, I'm so excited for this trailer because the teaser was exactly that, a tease, and it got me excited, and I almost cried on camera, as you could tell in my reaction, but for this full-length trailer, there's going to be so many different possibilities at play here. Now, before we get into the news and we talk about some of my theories, and I let you know what this could mean for the Dragon Princess trailer. If it is your first time here at the channel, welcome to Real James, where I love talking about movies, TV, all the news in between, and Avatar The Lost Airbender. So if you do too, hit the big red button below, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and get loud down below in the comments, and let me know, what do you want to see in the full-length trailer next week? Oh, I almost spoiled the date and time prematurely. Okay, fine. I won't waste any more time. Let's get into the news, which comes our way via Caleb Williams from Night Edge Media, a friend of the channel, and boy oh boy was this a Friday night surprise. Yesterday on X, he posted, and I quote, Hashtag Avatar The Last Airbender's full trailer drops on Tuesday next week, January 23rd, around 8am Pacific Standard Time. The after party with the cast reaction starts at 805 on YouTube. So there are a couple different things we need to break down here. So we'll begin with the first part, which is the most important part for you and I. We're getting the very first full length trailer for Avatar The Lost Airbender next Tuesday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, for me on the East Coast, that would be 9, 10, 11 a.m. in the morning. Okay, 11 a.m. For you in your time zone, I'm not sure, but you can ask me in the comments and I'll figure it out for you. I will say though, this is cool. Knowing about it in advance is awesome for me as a content creator and a film and TV critic because I get the chance to break this down and be prepared for you guys. On the other hand, I wonder if they're so confident in this full length trailer that they're willing to let people know. Now, I did hear that Netflix sort of spoiled their own surprise a little bit too early when it came to the date and time for the trailer, but hey, we know it's out there, so guys, we're gonna watch it and we're gonna have fun with it next Tuesday. So you can probably expect an official announcement for the date and time soon, but somebody must have hit send a little too early. Now, the second part of this post by Caleb talks about an after party with the cast. I'm guessing their reactions and it will be a breakdown as well because according to the YouTube uh, unlisted video that was set for premiere, uh, well, it kind of gives us the title exactly. It's going to be a trailer breakdown with the cast. However, it reportedly requires YouTube premium. So if you don't have that membership, you might not be able to watch it, unfortunately. And that is a bummer, as I'm sure many users don't have YouTube premium. But hey, if they make it public, why not? We'll talk about it here. <laughs> or if I can get my hands on a free trial, I might just have to report and recap on that for you. Let me think on that one. So, all right, we know when we're getting the trailer next Tuesday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we know when the after party's taking place as well. But the question still stands, what are we going to get from this full trailer? So I have a few theories here, and, well, we're going to talk about them right now. So the very first one is this. Dialogue, dialogue, and more dialogue. Now, in the trailer, we're probably not going to get too many conversations, but the very first teaser trailer that we got during Netflix's Geek Week had only one voiceover, and it was confirmed to be Monkey Gyatso, played by actor Lim K. Su, and I hope I pronounced that correctly, and that's exciting, to me at least, because we know that Monkey Gyatso is most likely going to be in book one. Uh, I can't wait to see that. I do think we need dialogue, though, and it needs to come from our main characters. I, I don't want them to hold back too much. Now, Listen, this trailer's not going to be any longer than 2 minutes and 15 seconds, I want to say. If we get anything longer than that, it might kind of spoil some of the cool reveals in live action. I mean, if you've watched 
the original series there's not much they can spoil but we're probably going to get hints at the creative liberties this season is going to take but again no longer than two minutes and 15 seconds i think that's the sweet spot for the full trailer so all right who are we getting dialogue from well i got some guesses gordon cormier as ang of course he's going to be the one that gets the most lines of dialogue in this trailer, I'd imagine. Then we have Gia Wendio, who is playing Katara. Dallas Liu as Zuko. And if I had to guess at least one more character, I think we get a surprise. Uncle Iroh himself, played by the legend Paul Sun Hyung Lee. Now that would be dope. I would appreciate that because I think he's a great actor. He's um, a, a good man. He's a good father. Listen, all right. He's just, he's good. I can't wait to see him really just portray uncle iroh with the, the the inflection in his voice it's just going to be amazing y'all okay we're going to really uh cry <laughs> in season one aren't we it probably but i think those are the characters that we hear from that's not the only characters or those aren't the only characters i should say that we see from we already got suki in the teaser trailer so why not get other characters that they've already sort of revealed in promo materials, right? Like Gran Gran, Jet, heck, <laughs> could we even get Cabbage Man? Yes, maybe. I don't see why not. Now, the second thing I believe we'll see in the full trailer is just more bending, specifically from Aang, Katara, and Zuko. I don't see them holding back too much in terms of bending for the full trailer. They are most likely going to emphasize areas that they didn't emphasize in the teaser trailer. While we did see firebending uh, very quickly a couple of times in the teaser trailer, it, I don't see why they wouldn't want to maybe hone in on that some more and show us Zuko actually bending, right? It would be cool to see Aang as well, and Katara using her water bending. It's just really cool. Sorry Sokka, you just are not a bender, so you can't do much. But hey, maybe we'll get him throwing his boomerang in the trailer after all. Now, this third prediction of mine is a little bit harder to actually dive into, but let's go for it. I believe that we'll get a sick final shot in this trailer. But who is it going to be? Ultimately, the safe guess is Aang, and I do think it's going to be Aang. What will Aang be doing is the question. So, I've come up with a couple thoughts. One, he could just be fighting Zuko. That would be cool, of course. Or two, they give us a quick glimpse at him in the Avatar state during the finale, which is the siege in the North Pole, the Northern Water Tribe, right? So, wouldn't that be dope? Yes, wouldn't that also be spoiling a cool moment for fans who maybe are not well-versed in Avatar The Last Airbender? Sure, <laughs> but you gotta hook them in these full trailers. Listen, they did it with One Piece. They hooked hardcore fans of One Piece with a full trailer. Why not do the same with Avatar and just give us Aang in the Avatar state? <laughs> Would be nice. Or we could, fine, really get Cabbage Man. He might be the comedic relief after a really dark trailer. Hey, Albert Kim, showrunner of Avatar The Last Airbender, did tease some cabbages on his timeline. Just here to report the news. But y'all... I'm very excited, okay? I mean, that's really all we have to talk about in terms of the news. So, of course, I'm going to be reacting to the trailer here on the channel. So do not forget to get subscribed because I cannot wait to do that for you guys Tuesday morning. Now, I do want to talk about one thing I teased at the beginning of this video, which is the implications of this announcement for Season 6's trailer of The Dragon Prince. I know, two different shows, but two properties we cover a lot on the channel. Now, I'll be honest, we've been talking about this for a while. When the heck are we getting this trailer? And I did a whole video on it too. Well, I'm starting to believe now, because of this, there's no way they want to compete with that airtime next week. Why would you want to lose yourself to the hype of Avatar The Lost Airbender? Because that's going to be talked about all week long. Uh, you're going to imagine that the Dragon Prince wants to find a nice pocket of air to which it can operate in and get as many eyeballs on it as possible. So... Here are my thoughts, guys. I believe we're going to get the Season 6 Dragon Prince trailer next month. I believe the rest of January is off the calendar. It's, it's just no one is going to consider that. It's got to be next month. And it could be mid-February, which means to me we might not get this next season of the Dragon Prince until middle of March, around the spring break time, which is probably still in line with my predictions, if not a little bit further off than I thought. 
but I'm okay with that because I really do think mid-March, early April, that's still a sweet spot for the Dragon Prince. You got enough time and space in between you and Avatar, and you've built up enough hype properly. You don't want to force feed everyone with promo materials at one time. And that team is smart. Aaron Ehas and that team, they know what they're doing, okay? So, yeah, I believe that the trailer will not be premiering this month, so we can wipe away those predictions. But next month, I don't see why middle of February is not a good time to release that full trailer. So there you have it, you guys. That's all the news for today. I'm so glad we got to talk about Avatar The Lost Airbender twice, back to back, in one week. <laughs> What a blessing. So hey, if you haven't already, hit the big red button below. Subscribe to the channel. Again, I'm going to be reacting to the full Avatar trailer next Tuesday morning. So you're not going to want to miss out. And get loud down below in the comments and let me know what do you think will happen in the trailer and what do you want to happen in the trailer. And no, you cannot say an hour-long loop of Appa riding around in the clouds. Okay, fine. Maybe you can say that. Alrighty y'all, again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you at the next screening.